Are you playing Planetside 2 on your PlayStation 4? Well, then I got some good and some bad news. Stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Faber1 as usual. And today, we are talking about the PlayStation 4 version of Planetside 2. As you might know, a huge update is hitting the game soon called Escalation. And more about this update you can find in the top right corner. But okay, PC is getting this update right now in probably a few days. But PlayStation 4 is still waiting for more information. To start with the bad news, ladies and gentlemen, there won't be an update simultaneously with the PC platform. So if you're really hoping for some more new content on the PS4, well guys, tough luck. There is some good news though. The dev team is looking into getting this update to PS4, but not in the coming days, weeks, or maybe even months. While there will be quite some delay probably between the PS4 update and the PC update, the PS4 update is sounding pretty promising. As you might know, the PC platform has had construction for quite a while now. And with the construction update, things like the ant came, base building, orbital strikes, quite some cool stuff. And I know not everyone is happy about it, but the PS4 had nothing. In the DirectX 11 update or the new solder update, what they did bring over was the ant, the vehicle being used, but there was still no construction. So in the next update for the PS4, you will not only get the escalation stuff, so the Bastion Fleet Carrier, the Outfit Wars, Desolation, but also probably some old stuff from the PC. You will get the construction, you will get orbital strikes. So the new update for PS4 will be quite a big one. And again, they do expect that to be quite a heavy delay between the two updates. And to give you some reference, how long will it take for them to actually make this new update? We can take a look at the last update for PS4. So we had the DirectX 11 update in April 2019 for the PC. And the performance update for the PS4 was only there in August. So right now we'll get the update in March, in March for 2020 for the escalation update. So again, do expect something like July 2020 for the update to hit on the PS4. That will fit nicely together with the summer event. So do expect something like the water pistols, the water balloons, and also escalation in the summer. But okay, the main takeaway from this little story right now is if you play in the PS4, don't expect any updates soon. But yes, do expect something later this year. I do want to add a little bit to this story though, and that is related to both PS4 and PC, and that is the overall communication from RPG. Since the reveal of Escalation, the whole Planetside team feels more communicative, more open. Justin, the community manager, shares a lot more stories, is open for a lot more community inputs, and I think those things are so important for a game to survive, especially for the years to come. One of the latest things our community manager has been doing was actually a call for outfits. And as you might remember, the escalation update is really centered around outfits. Only if you are playing an outfit, you can actually call in a Bastion Fleet Carrier. Only as an outfit, you can compete during the outfit wars. So again, outfits will be a focal point. And what they want to do with the call for outfits will actually showcase outfits. Make them visible on the official Twitter from Planetside, official Facebook, official Instagram. The Planetside team wants to make sure those different outfits are being spotlighted. And of course, as you might know, in the past, I have been doing quite some different outfit spotlights. But right now, where I left off, RGTV picked up. So if you want to see more outfit spotlights, of course, you can check out my channel, but also more recent ones by RGTV back over on Twitch. Link in the description below, of course. Anyway, more recognition for the different outfits is probably a good thing overall for the game. It doesn't matter if you're playing on PC or PS4. So guys, if you are running a PS4 outfit, let me know in the comments down below, but also post over there on the Reddit thread, and I'll again post a link in the description below. Then uh, one more thing. As you might know, I do not own a PlayStation 4. I have never, ever, ever played Planetside 2 on the PS4. So some of you might be asking Faber, why are you sharing this with us? To be honest, I am and I will always be a PC Master Race person. I just love the PC because of modularity, there is no subscription needed to play online, games are often cheaper and most important to me, you can just play with mouse and keyboard without any adapters, without any struggles or without any outer aim or whatsoever. If you ask me on which platform should I play, I would always say no matter the game, PC. What you're seeing right now in the background is all taken on the PC. 
And actually, I do like the UI a bit better from the PlayStation 4. I just want to say, I think it is important to include both the PC platform and the PS4 platform for any future updates, especially with new consoles coming out, such as the PlayStation 5 soon. You should understand that the PlayStation 5 and 4, they have a massive audience. And I do know that everything that Planet Zack needs is a massive audience for a massive game. So again, just in my humble opinion, I think it's stupid to not include them right away in any big update. Because that means you only have one marketing push, you have only one update, that will make things so much more united. And also, what if you play on the PlayStation 4, you play this cool game, and a few years later, you actually decide to go to the PC? Well, the whole transition is really awkward because you can't actually take over your character progress. I am not saying we need cross-platform right now, although that should actually solve quite some issues regarding population on the PS4, but some character takeover that would be so nice, actually. I just know that so many gamers these days, they actually start on a console. One does not simply start on a $3,000 gaming PC. You start simple, you just hook up a thing below your TV. How I see it, Planet Side 2 has massive potential on the console. Not because of the controls, not because of the complexity, but just because it's a free-to-play game and it doesn't actually require any PlayStation Plus to play online. Some gamers mentioned to me that, well, Faber, the game runs like absolute <laughs> But I can't speak of experience, so I have to believe them. But I've also heard some people say that since the latest update, Planet Side 2 actually runs pretty well on the PlayStation. So I don't know what to believe, but I would say if you haven't played Planet Side 2 before, doesn't matter if it's PC or PS4, download the game right now or download it again if you tried it before and see how the performance is right now, right now in 2020. There is one more thing that's related to this topic and it is hatred from the PC platform towards the PS4 platform and that actually requires some extra information. Originally, Planet Side 2 has been really a PC game. Planet Side 1 was only PC and Planet Side 2 was originally also only PC. But then in 2014, actually, we got a pretty big release of Planet Side 2 on the PS4. The Planet Side IP was actually owned by Sony Online Entertainment, which was a subsidiary of the big old Sony, which also makes the PlayStation, of course. For the management, it was directly clear. We got a new console with new hardware and we got a pretty new massive game called Planet Side 2. Those things are a match made in heaven, of course. But in reality, it wasn't really the case. The new console was using already old PC hardware. The APU was using pretty modern day 8 core octa core CPU, but lacking the single core performance. Moreover, the PlayStation 4 was running only on hard disks and not the new solid state drives, and therefore the loading times were pretty terrible. It required quite some effort actually from the Planet Side developers to actually make the game more playable. And from the PC perspective, it was like, hey guys, we never asked for you to make a PlayStation 4 version. And right now, all that attention that is going towards the PS4 version could also be going into more content for the PC. What about that? So the hatred towards the PS4 platform comes with a sort of reason. And well, you can't really blame them because years after years, it felt like the performance of the PC version got worse and worse. But okay, I also think it's more general because more often, like I mentioned before, the PC Master Race looks down upon the console plaps to say. Right now it is 2020 and the next gen consoles will just get PC hardware slightly modified to fit inside the box of an Xbox or the PS5. Mouse and keyboard support is getting more normal and also so is crossplay. So in my humble opinion, and again, just my humble opinion, it is time to move over this little issue we had in the past and look towards a bigger future together. Because I do think that Planet Side 2 will be also backwards compatible with the PlayStation 5. But to be honest guys, nothing like that is confirmed. However though, I want to say this as a final quote for me. If you want to see a bright future for Planet Side with maybe even a new game in this series, do accept the fact that we do have a console version and make it as good as it can possibly be for a console. But okay, that is my stance towards the console version of Final Side 2. Let me know what you think about consoles. Let me know if you play in a console. Let me know what you think about all of this. And then guys, I will see you soon with some more content.